Good evening, folks, and welcome to tonight's Master Plan Update Steering Committee meeting. Hope everybody survived the snowstorm uh, the past 24 hours and all doing well. Gary, would you read us the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Sure. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks. All right, uh, tonight, folks, we're going to be discussing the draft master plan uh, that was provided to us by RKG uh, last Friday. Uh, between uh, Keith and some other folks here on town staff, uh, was uploaded on the website immediately, and maybe you loaded on the website, right, Eric? Uh, and then uh, Keith also made sure we had links to it. So folks have had the opportunity to look at it, and hopefully continuing over through the 24th of this month, continue the opportunity to put some uh, inputs to us on that, please. And all the instructions are right there on the web page on how to do that. And Melissa's also done Facebook, so we have it that way. And then certainly if anybody uh, without computer um, ability and uh, wants to still have some inputs, we'll certainly take paper and uh, just get in touch with Mar in place, and uh, she'll be able to help you out there. Then we'll do some board business. So with that, um, unfortunately, uh, Judy is ill, so she won't be joining us tonight. Judy Barrett, that is. But very fortunately, Marin is doing better. So we're all very happy to hear that. So welcome back after a few days off. Not oh. vacation, though. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Okay, uh, I had spoken to Judy. Uh, and the thought was, you know, see what you folks all think, is we can go through uh, the, the master plan itself, or if you think you'd like to make some opening comments first, and then we can get in and uh, start going down uh, the pages of the master plan, things that you may want to see. So is that a workable scenario for tonight? All right, so let's just go on the table. Renato, you want to start? Uh, I, I'm i still reading the, the document. I didn't have time to read everything. So actually, I'm creating my, my own matrix, and uh, I, I intend to, to send later okay, so my, my comments. Yeah. You know, I looked at it, and frankly, I didn't have any comments. Um, you know, there were a couple, every now and then I might have seen something that I said, oh, I might wordsmith that, but it's such an encompassing document that the, the, I didn't see any glaring omissions. I didn't see any glaring, oh, my God, we never said that. Why would you put that in there? And anything that I would have said would have been so based on the minutia of the actual wording that I didn't think at this point in the process it really warranted a comment. Um, I'm very curious to see what other people have to say and if they do have a more significant take on if this thing's going left and we're supposed to be going right, I'm, I'm more than happy to entertain a, a discussion and participate in a discussion about that. I, I liked it. I liked the format. I liked the way it looked. Uh, I think as we, we're going through this process, we're build, putting the building blocks together, and as I see it come together, I'm like, this is something that I could understand and support for the next 10 years, and I would hope that other boards and committees would too. So right now, I'm copacetic with the way it looks and feels. Gary. Hi. Um, I've gone through the, the main chapters that I least I wanted to focus on. I think the opportunity to ch comment on the uh, recommendations and the issues and the, and the uh, implementation plan pieces in early meetings got what I wanted to you know influence and I, I've seen the changes from that and I'm generally happy with those. Um, so the, the comments, I wasn't going to have a lot of comments tonight simply because I figured any comments I write would just be better just to say, you know, uh, there's some text here that's errant and there's some pieces here that should be cleaned up yep. and more just editing okay. versus, you know, content so much. Um, there's a few things that I might want to talk as general things in this form, but for the most part, they're relatively minor. I yep. <clears throat> uh, I found the content to be uh, extraordinary, com almost complete. And uh, almost is, pr is pretty good given what's involved. Um, I think where the presentation fails, uh, and, and to the disadvantage of the value of, of the information, is when the when the plan begins, uh, uh, and having test run it on shall we say naive readers from town. So I'm not just spitting out an, an opinion here. It takes too long for the meat of the plan to be arrived at. What's the point? It, it, it almost was a spontaneous, when do I get to what matter? And, and once <clears throat> that came across, uh, uh, 
confirming what, what I suspected. My suggestion is that we start the plan, or we start the text, um, at the very beginning with, uh, uh, with uh, priorities for action that this committee based, uh, and label it, committee suggested recommendations, and they can be incorporated, incorporate also with the forums indicate, because I don't think anyone here is going to express something that's way out of whack with what the town suggested. No more than three to five major prioritized recommendations or main thrust areas. Um, and, and then call and then move down. I'm, I'm really doing, move what you call an uh, introduction. Move all that, what I consider to be repeat fluff of 2002, <coughs> okay, just redone. Uh, move that down and, and just use that as uh, background information. And even move the process that we followed in the appendix. Because other than patting ourselves, you know, on the back and um, I don't see the point of having that up front. I think that we ought to get the public and the other uh, folks who are going to use this immediately into the heart of the matter. If they disagree, and also to add to the, the use of the recommendations from the committee and label them as such, have page references with two key points in the text so that if they agree or disagree or get stimulated by it, they can go directly to the text components to, uh, bearing on those particular recommend, uh, mm -hmm. prioritized items. So as it stands now, I'm not that happy with it. I don't think it's going to take much to make it stronger. I'm trying to really make a break with uh, what we'll call the tendency to make the pros heavier than necessary um, and bring focus quicker and bring attention to uh, well, basically a modern town. John. Um, I've gotten it and I've looked at it and uh, I went through each section and the beginnings of it, you know, each one, just get the gist. Um, most of, a lot of areas I'm not very familiar with, the, or should I say, the content to be able to make any comments on it. Mm -hmm. But one thing I found was a little frustrating is, let's say, that concerned me is like in the future, if you wanted to uh, zero down on something really quickly, it's a little hard to do in that document. Uh, like if I wanted to know a particular topic, of what the town wants, uh, to zero into it quickly. Uh, the, the first paragraph, you know, kind of gives a synopsis of um, what was what was wanted, and then they go into more detail the other sections. But when you want to go, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out where do you want a specific thing. Hmm. Okay, and that looks great. Okay, so. I actually don't uh, disagree with any of the comments. I mean, overall, I think the things I plucked out were rather small in nature. But when Mike kind of put to words what you just said, I I was kind of feeling like that, but didn't really realize how I was feeling in, in the sense that I liked the how we engage the community and I thought that was important, but maybe it isn't important in the very beginning because you did have to kind of get through that to finally get to where we're headed at. It's a, that's an interesting point. And some sort of summary, whatever that may be, may be a good idea. I, I have just little things I wanted to talk about, but not no major into you know, the earlier comments. Nothing. I was like, this is totally out of whack, you know. I just like most people had only editorial sort of word choice or comments, and I, I, I my understanding at the beginning was that there was going to be an executive summary section that had, you know, the the, the gist of the recommendations in one place in mm -hmm. condensed form. Yeah, we were thinking that might be a, more of a sort of a separate standalone piece yeah. so that it's more of a, I think maybe Paul was talking, about, Paul Glavy was talking about this at the last meeting, almost like a two-sided kind of handout that could be, um, mm -hmm. that could be one option. Um, other towns want something that might be more along the eight to ten page range that's a little bit more comprehensive for an executive summary. Um, but we could talk about that and mm -hmm. what format that might take. Uh, can I what a thing when I was going through it, I was uh, like, let's say there was a select meeting or some other meeting, planning board meeting, and then somebody wants to drill down real quick on something. That's where I was coming from. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of hard to find a drill down on something real quick. You mean like an index? 
That's what I had written down. Yeah, yeah something like an index. index. Yeah. So if you want to learn more about what the master plan says about inclusionary In real zoning, time, as, could, as a meeting is unfolding, okay. you can yeah. kind of go real quickly. Yeah. Yeah. If, for me personally, um, actually, I like the flow of the layout. Um, I see it as, you know, beginning of a story, you know, in the beginning we did, and it takes us through that process and it gives context to how some of those, or how all the suggestions are arrived at. So actually I was pretty happy with that kind of process. That said, uh, one suggestion has been that um, early on in the intro is the, the strategies, uh, they'd be referenced right away and then uh, indexed to, uh, that's not the road, but cited to where they are in full uh, later on in the document. So that way it gets, I think it starts to hit a little bit of what you want, those high points uh, right up front, uh, that it's in the intro, and we go through the, uh, and the strategies are listed there. So go consider that. Within um, each chapter, you're saying, or? No, no, at the uh, intro. At the very beginning. You know, the, okay. the strategies, list them, uh, you know, a short encapsulation as to what it is, you know, maybe it's three lines, four lines, give or take. And then the page where it begins, okay. and it actually speaks to that. Uh, as to the fluff from 2002, realize that was 15 years ago. Uh, the town has changed uh, somewhat significantly, and it's been turnover of folks. So while those of us who have read 2002 and now read this, <laughs> say, well, we saw that in 2002. But because some of it is, as we discovered very early on in the process here, is a lot of things that people want in 2002 we want today. Um, so I caution that maybe you don't call it fluff. Uh, if you want to condense a little bit, uh, it's certainly not against that. Um, but I wouldn't uh, uh, suggest or agree to at least uh, getting rid of it all. No, it, it's it's a matter of degree. For the the emphasis, for example, and one sort of the the, the double the <coughs> almost contradictory stuff in 2002 appears here where in 2002 here it said that the town sees itself in the sound the town very much wants to have this bucolic sort of farmland kind of sense and later on the text in 2002 it says but you're not that anymore and it basically is repeated in this plan as well and almost in the same context same words almost same background do you think that she could work with that? How much, Mike, what are you referring to? I'm not seeing what's, a lot of it? reference to 2002. I'm asking. Do you think you could work with what was just said? Yeah, I was going to ask just a few follow-up questions so that I can really right. understand so what everybody wants. Let's let wants. Gary come in now. So um, I'm, I'm looking through the introduction section, and I'm, I'm not sure I understand where you're talking about as a recap of 2002. Well, what I mean by a recap is that the tone is the same. In other words, it starts out with a narrative. I mean, I, I disagree with Paul about the the placement of the narrative, and I'm not strong on it. I'm more interested in putting up front something that brings the modern reader to the point where, oh, this is what the plan, or this is what the folks who spent two years doing with the town, and this is what their sense of priority is, or what, what the town should be doing in the next couple of years and then make reference to the in embedded text for the background information that either, that, that basically provides the context for those, re for those recommendations. I mean, it's sort of self-evident anyway, if you, if you do some reading. And I just want to get this reading, I want to stimulate this reading early instead of waiting 10, 15 pages for, it to, for the engagement to occur. Okay. Um, and, and in 2007, they went through the same thing. And my test audience, which, you know, I just said, what do you think? Read it through. And their response was, why does it take so long to get to the real important stuff? And there's a lot of important stuff in mm -hmm. here. There's yeah. no question. This is pretty meaty right. stuff. Before we start asking questions, some of the general comments already made, the suggested priorities, uh, committee suggested priorities that Mike mentions, I think is a good idea. Um, what I had been contemplating is a cover letter that is inside of the uh, document. Oh yeah, right. From the committee, yep. and that's where we list our recommendations, because the document, the plan itself, is supposed to be the town's plan, and, and I'd kind of like to set it apart of, here's how the town went through everything, here's how it you know, shook out, but now the 12 of us on the committee, who have been intimately involved for the last two years and haven't dealt with people beyond who just you know, came to the various meetings some of our thoughts. And so whether it's three, four, five, half dozen, whatever, uh, priorities that we recommend. 
and then they can be used as they wish by uh, leadership of the town afterwards. Yes. But that was a thought I had as far as how to bring that in. I like it. So fine. Just, lo uh, just as long as somewhere where they can see it early and get launched. All right. So, so that'll be a task for us then to come to consensus on those priorities. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, the executive summary uh, and what Paul suggested, two different things in my mind. Okay. In ES, it just says we all, I think, commonly understand it's going to, in, you know, words, you know, you know what, f 4 to 5 percent, maybe the entire document, and hopefully not even that much. Yeah. Um, well, that's what we're hoping. But I'm thinking, you know, five, six pages that uh, <laughs> came, we saw, we conquered. Uh, and, and it gives the highlights of that. Hey, what do you think, folks? No, I like an executive summary up front. As long as it's in Latin, I think we should do that. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's going to be your task. To tell I have it, it, it ready. Okay. <laughs> now, what Paul spoke of, and, um, and then also what I mentioned to Judy for town meeting, is that one sheet of paper, mm -hmm. probably we want to do it, you know, make it hard, you know, stock, whatever, you know, two-sided because I think it would take that much information. But it's a handout for everybody, and it's a easy take home. Maybe it's a trifle. That as far as the right uh, medium, I'm not 100% sure, but something certainly for handout at town meeting at the minimum. And then it's something that is available after that also for folks to have a ready handy reference. Yeah. So, and I think and Paul's not here, so um, but we can check with him to see if that kind of captures what he was trying to get said, if he's happy with that medium. Um, I don't know what do you guys think. I think, I think so. it's a great idea. Yeah. And Judy said it was an easy kill. Yeah, I think I already have some ideas on how we okay, can so put that together. All right. Try to make it kind of graphical with some icons so that it grabs people's attention a little bit more than a bunch of text. Okay, mm -hmm. so index, <clears throat> check, that's a good idea. Executive summary, um, we're on board with that. This handout, uh, and now we'll start uh, delving into uh, Mike's here. And let's just codify that we have homework for our next meeting to come up with those suggested priorities. And what I offer, maybe each of us, what's the two most important things to us? Good idea. On all of this. And then we'll see where the overlap is amongst the 12 of us. So, okay. So that'll be for our next meeting. We'll be prepared to do that. Yeah. Top two? That's what I think. Yeah. Okay. Just think about that for a second, though. What happens if the top two are so evident we only end up with two? Is that okay? I would say that that's a strong uh, recommendation. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and, and from now you're talking about the, the whatever the 60 page 60 things, two with the two things that we sing. Yeah, um, well that's a good question. Do you want to only take from those 60 some odd, or if there's something that <coughs> you feel so strongly in, I would say leave it free form. And whatever you if you felt something so strong, and then after we discussed it for a while and go, you know we missed it on here. I have, I'd have a hard time believing we missed it. Yeah. Well, um, the, well the, only, the only thing, I agree with Paul, I don't think we should be limited to the list of action items, but at the same time, I think it has to be relevant to the master plan that we've come up with. You can't come up with something that's totally out of left field right yeah. now. You know, that would be unfair to all of us. So just keep it focused. And, yeah. but, oh, but it could be two things out of there. That could, that could be the right way to do it for, it, for anybody. It should help guide us. Yeah. I mean, it could mean so. There could be something that's broader right. that might encompass two or three. Of these yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm leaning towards. That's, that's, that's so, I mean, I think, yep. so I do think that would be maybe a way of framing it. Is right. Try to use this as a place, but if you think there's something like the, um, managing growth is a key thing, and there's some big key bullets out of that, that, that's what I would try to do is tie it to like, okay, this that item with three things of these really ties to that mm -hmm. managing growth piece. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. Supports it. Yep. yep. All right, so you've got some questions. Yeah, it was mostly just to kind of clarify Mike's okay. point a little bit more because, um, you know, we kind of have one shot at revising this. I think I think between the 6th and the 20th would be when we want to revise because we'd have the playing board's comments and the public's comments and obviously all of your comments by that time. Um, so we have the opportunity to revise it. I just want to make sure that when we revise it that we get it as close to right as we possibly can. Um, so I was just hoping if I could just flip through the introductory chapter here real quick and maybe we could just talk about where some of your suggestions might fit or what um, needed to be condensed if possible. <clears throat> so the intro starts on the Yep. If you're looking at the PDF on page 9. Yep, page 9. Yeah. Um, 
So this is just sort of the purpose and scope right. of the master plan. Same thing on page 10, just yeah. continues. So then we get into the vision and goals right yeah. in the beginning, and this yeah. was from the public I, I process. I think the place where, where it went totally, not, not, I, I think where this seemed to interrupt the flow was uh, when you start with community participation on page mm, 15. Yep. And already, we're, you know, we're 15 pages in. <laughs> And uh, well, six pages. Well, I'm going by the yeah, yeah. but it's six written pages. Right. <laughs> six pages in. It's <clears throat> already, as far as I'm concerned, too, you know, too late for the movie, mm -hmm. as it were. So, but it's okay. All right. So, it, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the, the community participation is not unimportant, but I'm suggesting that it should be moved out, and, and including the summary down to past the meetings, past the whole including the reporting of the charrettes and all the rest. In fact, I would <clears throat> I would downgrade this into the appendix. An appendix. Is there maybe a way to leave some of it at a high level but move some of it to the appendix? Meaning I, like... I, I was thinking of the labor and time, and that's, I, that's why oh, I, I did yeah. not work on mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the, the usual text work that I would ordinarily do in making this. I just felt that yeah. we haven't got time to mess. Yeah. And yeah, so I think uh, we could definitely put it into the appendix. That's not a, that's not an issue at all. It, it, um, okay. It's just a matter. Do you, does the committee want some reflection in the introduction about the public process? And we can shrink that considerably too. Yeah, you that know, we had three too. big forums. We had two two charrettes. We had XXX. Right. Yeah. And we engaged, yeah. so, you know, we engaged a couple of people. Sure. Right. Like that, that and if you wanted appendix. to move, yeah, and if you want to move the meat into the appendix to give more detail about. You know who showed up, and you know because you do have stuff in here, pictures and all the rest mm -hmm. that help make the context. But uh, as I said, yeah, we could condense that yeah. considerably and move the meat of it. Basically, take what's here right now, move it into right. the appendix, and come I like this diagram, though. Yeah, I thought the, it really the, yeah, explained the icon how thing. everything built okay. up, and don't get rid of that, that one. I okay, think that's, that's that's a good place to you can circle your your condensed form. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do think the product out of the public information. You have a couple boxes. Most frequent responses from townwide vision mm -hmm. form, yes. those most are frequent there. responses. Uh, I would really like to keep those in there mm -hmm. right up front Six because they're, they're a product. Um, page 17 and 18. Uh, the least favorite things, the yep. most favorite things, those things I think are, are that's what you got out of it. Mm -hmm. So I think you want yeah. to keep those. Um, I, I don't have too much heartburn with it as it is but now but I'm you know I think it's fine to Take those six pages on, on the whole process and cut it down to one or two, and, and then you know summarize it. Um, and in the appendix, I even thought about the appendices. Do we have the appendices, or how do we have for capturing some of the, the raw meat you have from the meetings? Is that all in the appendices, or how is that being handled? Uh, we could be. It kind of depends on how large you want to make. I mean, it, 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 it adds the a document. Home to it. Yeah. It could. Yeah. Um, I think we sort of started discussing this a little bit at the last meeting, sort of thickness of the document itself, so it's kind of up to you how much we want to put in there. Where does, it probably doesn't need to be in the document, but it would be nice to be a bit ac accessed by people who do want to go back and look at it and mm -hmm. see what we did and what was some of the feedback we yep. got. So, so one thing that we've done throughout the process is to create a meeting summary, which summarizes all the input that we've received from, even all the way back from the interviews that we did in the core assessment meetings, yeah. if you remember all at the beginning, all the way through the final public forum that we had a couple months back. Um, so all that exists in PDF format online now, and that could be easily moved to the town's website um, if and when the current master plan website goes down. I think we have a two-year shelf life on that. The town can obviously choose to extend that as long as you want, but we wouldn't be managing it anymore. Or everything could just be migrated off of there onto a master plan website that the town maintains. How, how thick is the meeting summary piece? That's really just like a summary of that product out of that out of that session, right? Or mm, yeah, a basically a summary of the comments and the input that we received at each of the meetings. So just an idea to throw it out there, maybe the meeting summary be an appendix to the document, but then all the other stuff, which, which, which is the backup for those, mm -hmm. be, you know, Kept in town, we kept the town files in some place separately. Archive it. Yeah. And then, you know, with Keith and the selectmen of the planning board, come to a final decision as to whether or not to keep a separate website. Uh, certainly, I would kind of think 
we go to the town website. Yeah, we probably pour it over to the town website. Yeah, website. that would be my first blush for sure. Yeah. But then on there, uh, everything's archived. Right. Um, to your point, as far as you know, some of the condensed meeting minutes, so to speak, uh, the, the summarization, you got to make an appendix. Yeah. Yeah, we can put that in there. Yeah. All right, Anna just arrived, and then Anna has a couple comments uh, about placement of some information here in this chapter that we're talking about right now. So, go on, Anna. Sure. So, <clears throat> excuse me. In uh, the introduction chapter, um, one of the areas that I found very helpful um, going back to the example master plans was Arlington, where they had um, a synopsis of the participation process mm -hmm. and then the key findings and then the key recommendations. So I really like that because it's succinct. It, it gets the reader involved right away into the core meat of everything. And so um, a couple of proposals for that introduction area is um, to be able to pull and connect the associated recommendations for each mm -hmm. of the strategies and themes. So, for example, under Littleton Common, I think there are eight strategies back in excuse me, eight recommendations back in, in the table, in the table mm -hmm. and just the bullet point of each of the items and identifying them under each of the strategies and themes. And again, the reason for that is to be able to engage the reader right away to let them know what it is that's going to be done with that particular area. Okay. Does that strike your point? It's accomplishes the same objective, fast. Get it going. Yep. Great. Everybody think good? idea. Sure. And then we can put the page reference to where it exists yeah, yeah, right exactly. after the bullet yeah. point yeah. for each one. Yep. Super. And it helps to drill down on things yeah. very quickly. Yeah. The, the way we began, so you, you had that input, but the way we began was everybody given their general sense as to the document. So you want to share? I'm My general sense of the document? Um, well, I think that that overall that will help to um, to be able to uh, focus folks on, on the key pieces. Uh, <clears throat> within the description of each of the strategies and themes, I know that some were short and describes that they, that particular strategy involves elements, all the different elements, but it really still doesn't kind of walk through what the connection is among all of those elements. It states that we do, but being able to, to tie that in, to be able to, to talk about, and as an example, in Little to Common, being able to identify um, the, the sewer plan immediately, and then being able to um, work through what a longer term development plan looks like, and then being able to engage um, prospective businesses. I mean, being able to, to tie those together is something that I had anticipated seeing um, somewhere along the way. And um, so that piece of it is, is still a bit elusive for me. Anybody else want to comment on that? <clears throat> I, I, uh, I know what you're going for. <clears throat> However, uh, this is for me at least, a, a political document and uh, not, a <clears throat> not a battle plan. It's, it's basically, it's almost like a formulation <coughs> of policy about where we want to be 10 years from now. And the decisions about how to get there and the priorities <clears throat> depend a lot of things on a lot of stuff that we just don't know what it's going to look like, ranging from the financial status of the town, the country, the state, whatever to the mood of the town, <clears throat> et cetera. So to me, putting together the linkages about which you do first, which you go second, I think is an inspiration for elected officials and committees, in my view. <clears throat> I think that the fact that we're, we're going to recommend, for example, something about housing is going to speak volumes about what they should pay attention to and what they shouldn't pay attention to, in that, in that sense. It's, I think, uh, more important from my point of view than the, than the tracking device. I'm just noticing how, you know, the political process works. Okay. Well, 
but How, what are any that's, other thoughts? I think that's fair. <clears throat> I mean, maybe it depends, sort of a thing. I mean, maybe <laughs> yes. it depends on the topic. You could you yeah. could kind of logically see some things have to build, but on others, I, I think you're right. There's an element of what can we do and what makes sense, and yeah. That's a tough one. Did you have any specific ones in mind? Well, um, as I mentioned, the one around Littleton Common, and my purpose for saying that is as a reader who hasn't been as involved as all of us sitting here at this table, um, being able to look at this and, and being able to say, oh, so that's what's going to happen as a result of all of this, um, really being pretty clear about that um, is part of what I anticipated the outcome would be from, from this document. But if that's not what everybody else thinks, then then that's fine. But I wanted to, to put that out there. Others? Is there a way to, a lot like the intro thing, um, the cover letter, is there a way to pepper our thoughts in there a little bit more? Maybe even a little, like, thoughts from the committee on, on maybe that particular topic, although at the end of the day it will be decided by others elsewhere at a different time. But maybe yeah. if we can chime our two cents in in terms of that. Yeah, I envision that letter being not not that type. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, kind of like half. <laughs> within the document, a little text box <coughs> thing. It's a call out is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall. Given that we had so many areas, if you gave just a little bit on each one, it starts to be yeah. 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 beyond that. Mm -hmm. Now, the executive summary doesn't introduce anything new, mm -hmm. but it highlights like the key things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So could, could you see it being in the ES, some of those linkages drawn? Well, it, it, it needs to be somewhere. Yeah. I would like for it to be somewhere. And um, somewhere that if, if the next group, the implementation team, um, has this document, um, what are the marching orders for, for that next group? That's a really interesting question. Let's save that because um, I think we're all going to have a bit of an idea as to how that's going to flesh out okay. in the long run. Um, but I, I sort of agree with Mike, I, and you and I talked, and certainly there's some things where you can look at, is showing some linkages, not necessarily first, second, third order, yeah. but uh, that right, that's thing, not what I mean. <clears throat> you some got uh, linked to each other. Economic development. If we were to think uh, sewers were part of economic development, so we're looking at economic development, how might you describe that? Um, and parking uh, on the common, you know, some of the other things on the common, architectural um, uh, suggestions from the planning board to developers that appear before them. Uh, I think you can start collecting, uh, connecting a lot of data points at that thing, and I'm not sure that becomes a, quite a web beyond the scope of this course. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can scale it this way, picking up with something that, that you mentioned, Gary, um, that you missed uh, for, for a moment. Uh, for example, I'm gonna, I think it's fairly obvious, somewhere in someone's priorities around the table, someone's going to mention the common. And the common has a couple of pieces with it. One of them is housing, the other thing, it connect, it's connected instantly <coughs> with sewage. And the, and the housing concept of, of uh, in, in the, is, is diverse housing, diversified housing opportunities in the common, which is linked to sewage and commercial development. So in one place, in one, quote, priority item or one item, you've brought together a, a very important topic plus the associated items. Now, how uh, officials and practical matters, how you get there, is a matter of, you know, even the decision whether to do it or not, it's a matter of, of politics. So I'm, I'm suggesting that, that a lot of what, we, what I think we're after may depend on what the committee in incorporating uh, the town's views as well as with our views, views as two or three or four, whatever the list turns out, of the most important things the town should do would help galvanize, put together those few major linking points. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I don't think we have 15 yeah. major priorities. I think we're probably uh, be grandiose to say five, maybe. If um, we're lucky. Well, and yeah. being able to do even that, I think, would would bring the plan to to another level. Yeah. You have to capture that. Just a couple follow-ups questions. Um, one is something, I, mean, I don't know if we may have mentioned it, but with the final product, when we actually bring it into InDesign to create the final product, we had envisioned creating a couple of sort of one-page insets in the document that would be more colorful, have more images, and try to tie some of those recommendations together. One of the ones that we envisioned creating was specifically for Littleton Common because it's just such an important topic throughout the master plan. So that one pager would try to get a little bit more specific about the linkages between the different elements that you were talking about. Another one we thought about creating was like agriculture as economic development and try to spell that out a little bit more, why it's important to the town, why it kept, you know, the reasons why it kept coming up throughout the process and what, how the different recommendations try to get at um, agriculture as a means of economic development in Littleton. So those are just two examples. So I don't know if... That would be helpful. The other thing... Um, that might be helpful because, again, it's not to go into it in excruciating detail or anything, but rather to give folks a real picture. And in your case, you're talking about an actual graphic mm -hmm. of what the plan is intended to create over the next 10 years. Right. The other thing I was thinking, too, along your suggestion <coughs> about under the themes, pulling out the recommendations that are organized by themes in the implementation table, maybe that would help because one of the themes is a little too common, so then you would see the eight or nine recommendations associated with that. They wouldn't be in sort of, I guess, priority rank or um, ordinal rank necessarily or how you do them over time, but you would at least sort of see the bucket of recommendations right. under there. Right. I don't exactly. know if that would also help or not. I think so. Okay. <clears throat> well, to, to that point, that that's something you're planning to do for the final, um, when would we see that? Because this is supposed to be a final, I say that's a completely separate piece, those couple of uh, graphic pages. They would be inserted into the master plan in the, uh, in locations in the master plan where it discussed, say, little to common. I was asking when. So our next meeting is the 28th. Yeah. So you're going to have our inputs. You'll have the public inputs by the 24th. Um, so with ah. what we have in front of us now and now the suggestions we're speaking of this evening, are they incorporated on the 28th? When are they? So what I started talking about at the beginning of the meeting was we also have the planning board comment period. Yep. We have time and money to make one set of changes to the document that we've sent out to okay. everyone. Um, so we envisioned we would make those changes and integrate that then into the final product in preparation for town meeting. All right. Um, so what are we going to, what is in your mind then on the um, 6th, right? 6th of April? Right. So, the planning board opens yeah. the public hearing. Yeah. Board. So when we meet on the 6th, what do you anticipate having for us that evening that we show the planning board? So what, do we, what do I hand the planning board chairman uh, that evening? So the way I understood it from Judy when we talked uh, today was this document would be what would go in front of the planning board since they haven't had an opportunity to comment on it. You say you get time and money. Time is the calendar that's fixed. Money. Um, what are you thinking in dollars when you say you have time and money to do one change? I think time is probably more of a crunch than money, to be honest with you, since we budgeted time to do one set of changes. Um, so we envisioned taking all the public comment up through the six, since that would be an official public hearing and comment period, taking all that input and then transferring that into the final document. So the planning board doesn't see the final document? Well, there's the meeting on the, on the 20th. Okay. So, the, so the, they basically see the unfinished, they see a draft. On the 6th. On the 6th. Which they would told, well, the way we envisioned it was they would, see, they would see this and they would provide comments just like you're all doing on this draft. Oh, I see. So, so these, okay. okay. So public comments close the 24th? It was just something I also wanted to talk a little bit about tonight as well. Have you received any comments as of yet? Two sets. 
any changes from the, the comments made at this table? Uh, I think one set was PJs. <laughs> so we got those, and then another was from the library director. And there were two minor changes to some numbers there. Yeah. As far as people not associated with town? Yeah, so you really haven't got any public comment yet. You haven't got any public comment. Per they tend to come in toward the end of the comment period. At the, <coughs> at the selectman meeting last night, there was a um, gentleman that came down for another reason, but he mentioned he read the whole thing and he was really happy with the process. So just throwing it out there, people are reading it. Maybe they're kind of okay the, with it. In the previous experience, how many documents do you receive from the population? Here in Littleton so far with the things we've released? Other towns about the similar size. Does it come in 5, 10, 100? Yeah. Five, Usually ten. not. Usually not a ton. Okay. Yeah. Partially right. disheartening. Yeah. But actually, the beauty of it is we've talked all along, it's a living document. So, you know, there will be a cutoff point for good ideas mm -hmm. to go into what will be presented to the planning board and then to town meeting. Um, but then the implementation committee has their responsibility to work with the planning board, the selectmen, et cetera, in town in um, amending, uh, appendicizing, indexing, et cetera, et cetera, as to what we may want to do. So uh, I'm sanguine with that piece. Okay. So the good ideas are not going to get discarded on the cutting room floor. They just may not make this particular addition. Um, and again, this, the town has budgeted money for an implementation committee to be able to do administrative work. Uh, to be able to engage, uh, presumably with RKG going forward in the future too, as necessary to make uh, changes. Um, but that will be between the Implementation Committee, the uh, Planning Board, and the Selectmen as to that particular process. And we can suggest, certainly, because we've got enough experience. But more to um, the issue at hand. I'm uncomfortable in, um, and, and Judy and I have talked about the final, and the final doesn't mean um, you, you give us the full um, published version for the 20th. I got that. But what I anticipate on the 20th, being able to show the um, planning board and the 20th paper I'm talking about, is that absent something drastic, the next day you can take it to the publisher and publish um, on the 21st. Um, that's certainly my vision, folks. Uh, the 20th or the 6th? The, the 20th. In other words, when we actually say this is the final, 20th of March or? April. April. Oh, April, okay. Yeah, because right. yeah, we meet with the planning board 6th and 20th. Okay, okay. So, um, showing the 6th, um, yes. Just to be, when is town meeting? One day. So we're going to print April 20th. So, what's that, two weeks, 10 days, 11 days? And then we're going to be able to put give that document to people as they're walking in the door. And well, that's that was the first our, time. That's not our intention to print hundreds and hundreds. All right. How many in the contract? I don't remember. How many hard copies? Five thousand two hundred eighty. It was a few. Oh, three seventy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Okay, what it was. all right. I was. It's going to be on for right. some reason. Okay, good. Remember. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, usually your face. You should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope it was priceless. <laughs> There's risk associated with what I'm about to suggest, but see if you folks agree. I understand what you're saying, and understand time is the commodity um, most precious to us on this process right now. In that, on the 4th, we've got to be able to speak very clearly as to this document and then with the suggestions that have been made. And it can't just be talk, talk, talk. I need you guys, RKG that is, is to have written down in hard copy, and I'd like that for the 28th, for what we've discussed this evening and we'll continue to discuss. And that's presented to us in a formatted, in a cogent manner, so that each of us members can say, yes, we agree to that. Um, and, and then as we move forward and get more public uh, comments uh, between then and you know, our cutoff date, so that on the 20th, we do have that document ready to go. And it's going to take your tech our writers, you know, some real close scrutiny. And I'm thinking we want to get that by the 15th of April so that we can see it because we need to be able to read it. Uh, I don't want to stand up in front of the um, planning board and the planning board chairman says, well, Mr. Vella, have you read the whole document that you're presenting to us this evening? There's only one answer I want to give him. Yes. Okay. 
So. I won't ask him. <laughs> oh, ask him. Ask him anyway. <laughs> Buy him right there. Right yeah, right yeah, just do it. Drill him yeah. right there. Uh, um, what do you think, folks? Do you know good Irish Jack? Yeah. 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 I'm trying to follow the time once you're talking about Yeah, I'm going to reiterate. So to be, to be sure that we're all are shaking our heads to the same thing. Okay, so tonight's the 15th. We meet again on the 28th. Mm -hmm. You're getting comments from us this evening. You're going to get comments from the public until the 24th. Um, the 28th, we'll have further discussion to see where we're at. Um, by the time we get to the 4th, 6th of April, you will have for us the document that we've looked at this evening. And as I said, in a format and cogent manner, or suggestions and recommendations that will be incorporated into the final document. So it doesn't need to be extraneous information of the stuff we talked about. In other words, it's not an all-inclusive list of everything we speak of this evening. Or what even we receive in um, inputs. It's going to be what is going to be included, how it's going to be included, where it's going to be included. Okay. Yep. So I've got Judy one. and I talked about something very okay, similar. Good. Yeah. Okay. So one drink and duck. Do we have nine others? Sure. So game plan, but not necessarily the product. Correct. Okay. And then on the 15th, for our consumption, the, the uh, committee here, to read it. And as I say, the intent is on the 20th, we're presenting a document to them that's ready to go to the publisher the next day. If though, when we receive it on the 15th, that we as a committee feel like we're missing something, um, then we got to fix it. And I don't have a problem uh, going to the planning board that evening and say, this is a, a complete document except for page 16 uh, where we have to fix something. I don't have any problem doing that. It's really rather not. Um, I won't be happy. I know you <laughs> shan't be happy. But I'll do, we'll endeavor to do our best, sir. Persevere. Okay. Endeavor to persevere. Thank you. Are we all in agreement with that way forward? So for April 15th, are you looking for a revised version of this document? Or I'm looking would it be for what you were going to call the final document. The actual final product. Yeah. Okay. Because and we have to have time to look at it, okay. Eric. I'm not arguing with you. i just clarifying. Um, so then on the March 28th, would you like us at that meeting to provide you basically with a comment matrix-like document that then highlights everything I've heard tonight mm -hmm. that we are going to incorporate, everything we've received through the formal public comment period, and anything else that we get through that process so that we can go over that with you? Yeah, and then we'll be able to clean it up as necessary so that on the 6th of April we have that single document yep. that now explains the changes that we want to make, where they're going to happen yep. uh, in the uh, document, okay. 189 pages you provided us, 186 pages. Yeah. And I tell you, that would include uh, the inserts that you were discussing earlier, the graphic. The version on the 15th would have to be yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> when I said earlier, semi-disheartening about comments coming back already. Semi is that I hope we get some, but I hope the ones that come in are positive as to the the work that this, this this group has done is what I'm hoping for. I'd love to see comments made. Just looks great as opposed to somebody sending in yeah. five pages of you guys are a bunch of idiots. So I mean that's the two sides of my. I'm, I'm glad there's some some comments already, and I'm a little. Hopefully that's what we will get because obviously there's some very intelligent people sitting at these tables, and I appreciate everybody doing the work that they've done. It's a lot of work. Right. And so you guys also. Thanks. Yeah. So just one quick question on the schedule. Um, when Judy and I were talking this morning, she mentioned um, to bring up to you guys, would it make sense to keep the public comment period, quote unquote, open? I mean, I know it's always open, but to extend the official comment period up through April 6th, because technically we'd be taking public comments through the planning board hearing anyway. It seems kind of weird to cut it up. Now I think back on what I said before. Seems weird to cut it at the 24th. Any problem, Laura? Um, no, I, I love leaving the March 24th as the hopeful deadline, um, just so we can get the see what the bulk of the comments is, and then obviously the planning board still will accept here comments. Yeah, I prefer to leave the, leave the date as the date. That way, you know, your, your homework's due when they say, all right, so it's Monday. I you can put it in Tuesday. Well, you know, yeah. Let, let's go with. The, the firm date and of course anything else that comes in 
people come to the meetings and such as this. Obviously, we'll, be, we'll welcome some comments, but the basic date is it. For <coughs> Dawn. Now, I, what I would like you all to do, though, is help them with the editing. So as you're going through, you know, commas missing, mm -hmm. you, know, you think comma, send it to them. Mm -hmm. um, let's not just, you know, say, okay, yeah, PG, you got to do all the editing. Mm -hmm. Certainly when I went through it myself, is, um, I offered some editing thoughts, too. Mm -hmm. Facts that maybe only one of us at the table knows about a particular item or issue. If you see something wrong there, give them that, too, please. Um, so... There's so. some comments like on the church names. Some of them are a little off. So I'll send you yeah, that kind please. of stuff. Yeah. I, I did have one more question. Uh -huh. um, and it's uh, on page 184 where it talks about the program implementation. Uh, the third and fourth bullets say have the Board of Selectmen make at least one master plan goal a priority in the fiscal year. And the next one talks about engaging town departments to focus on at least one master plan goal. And <clears throat> since we have goals and strategies in this, it's kind of a nitty thing, but do we want to actually say in here one master plan goal and or strategy? Because one goal the way that we've written the goals, they're aligned with the elements. So a goal would be focus only on housing for that year. Focus only on transportation for one year. Does that make sense? So you just want the word strategies added to that? I think so. I think that would encompass it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. All right, I'll draft up that letter that I talked about as far as the committee letter and get it out to you folks uh, for your thoughts. And it's saying I'm looking for about a page and a half um, as to, and then you'll add, you will add talk about our priorities on the 28th that we want to come to a consensus with, and we'll see how to weave that into that letter. Okay. All right, well, that went fairly well. PJ, are we, are we wrapping up that particular topic, the review? Or I don't know if you still got a comment, please. I do. They're just a couple of, they're small things, but um, oh, I just Say what you wish. Okay, just to make sure, just some thoughts. And this one's going to sound a little silly, but I'm still going to bring it up. It's, it's very pretty, but it's orange. What do you guys think about it being blue? Like the, the headers being blue and just having, I know it's small, but I, I just... Point. I'm good with blue. Next. Okay. <laughs> now, and how, to how run on her it. theme, <laughs> let me one say, we have white on orange now. Mm -hmm. Do we want gold on orange? Ooh. Ooh. Or gold on blue, you mean? Gold on blue, thank you. <laughs> is it going to be... If it would look is it going to be readable? Well, the, the things we have to watch out for is it going to be legible. Also, yeah. we want to make sure that there aren't yeah. colors that contrast each other in case people will show up blind. I forced it a study. Yellow on blue is the best for a slide presentation. I don't know that that transfers to page paper. Okay. <clears throat> did, did somebody did a test on that? Who, whose Air Force is this? United States. Your United oh, States oh, Air oh, Force. Oh, that one. All right. That's okay. where we spend our money on. Sleep tight tonight. Your Air Force is awake. <laughs> <laughs> is this the right button? <laughs> yeah, our intention was actually to make this document look quite a bit different in terms of color schemes, whichever ones you guys think you want to go with is totally fine. Um, but the layout, you know, will include a lot more, it'll be a lot more images and things like that. was one other there. general thing. There were a couple images where I thought, hmm. yeah, 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 there's, there's one where I couldn't tell the color. The, the, it looked like the same color off of orange or brown. Oh yeah, the, was it a map? Maybe? Yeah, it was the it was the pie. Uh, oh, the pie, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it kind of blended. Yeah. Which yeah. Also yeah. How far? Yellow how? on blue. Is that why we did the t-shirts like that? It's our town color. <laughs> 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 we got a visit. Little, 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 little tiny colors. Um, here's the homework I'll ask you to do, Eric, mm -hmm. with uh, Melissa's suggestion. 
you got graphic artists. They know the business. They know how to communicate with people. Uh, take that suggestion and see how it flies, please. That'd be great. <clears throat> Just And I think we all like Melissa's idea, by the way. <laughs> Blue and gold, baby. Okay, um, and I have small things that like PJ did up. I put them in the matrix. I won't bother you with them, but just a quick thing on social media. We did have a Facebook page, oh, so we're going to have to edit that. It says we decided not to have a Facebook page or a Twitter account, but I'm steadfastly manning that Facebook page, so we're going to have to redo that. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I think what <laughs> Daphne meant when she wrote that up was the con she was probably thinking about the consultant team, like sometimes oh, we manage those, but in this okay. case, you already had one, so you were doing it. Yeah, that's a great catch. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. And only one other thing that's worth maybe just mentioning. Um, on page 39 in draft land use and on page 41 in the same section, it looks almost like the same. I thought literally the section was repeated, but mm -hmm. there's like a few words which are slightly different, but there are sentences which are exactly the same. same. And I noticed because there's strange words, like, imp not strange, but unique words, like impervious and zone two wellhead. And it just caught my attention, like, didn't I just read that sentence? And I went back and 30, I... 39 and 41? Yeah, 39. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're duplicated. Text. They are duplicated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. I thought I was just getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> I had to double check it a couple times, too. Yeah. No, I, 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 know, I know what they did. They just, they, they, they grouped the aquifer and yes. redevelopment pieces under restrictions of redevelopment into a single heading, but they forgot to move it from the previous place on page right. 39. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's on page 39, Eric, and it's also redone on page 41. Mm -hmm. I can take that out of my list. No. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thanks. You might have slipped by me, so yeah. more... Um, <laughs> and unrecognizable words, or recognizable words, but... Um, and I think that was it. Other than that, it's very small things. Like, um, just on the picture thing, um, the point has a picture of great clips, which nothing against great clips, but the point is such a yeah. big thing. Like, can we zoom back a little bit to show that? But those are little things I'll, I'll email you. Perfect. Uh, uh, just, just to repeat on page 49, just because it's a color <coughs> thing, on page 49 there's a pie chart, uh, and there's... It, it was very difficult to tell oh, yeah. what the di what the differences were. I mean, they're they're graphic, but oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> you I see what you mean. mean. Okay. Yep. And then then on page twenty four, this is about the third or fourth time um, this has been brought forward. I just like to do it. There's a box, a very useful box on page twenty four on the right hand side where you, it's the highlights. <clears throat> okay, and unfortunately. The real take-home message, which is repeated several times in the text but never made it in the box, is the 70-30 distribution of land use or land in Littleton between open and undeveloped and developed. <clears throat> Instead, we have percentages inside percentages inside percentages. And if you look at the box and start reading the text, you will be lost within, even with a calculator. So... Clean the box, put, make the box really uh, have the 70 30 proportion mentioned. <clears throat> and then you can certainly clean up the explanation in the text that sits right alongside it. Okay. And uh, this is, again, I think mainly uh, a strange kind of, it had to do between pages 50 and 64 in the top. Uh, <clears throat> In, in the top, I think it's the top left or the top right, you, the economic development persists over and over and over again, even though we're not. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just... It's the in word, the link to the headers. So, yeah. something, went, something went fluey. Yep. And stuff like that sometimes zooms past editing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. But it went on for quite a while. And I... Thanks. We've got all that. Yeah, I got that. I just took out the ones that right. I don't know how trivial we're going to get tonight. Today's Wednesday. Let's get anything that we want to get to our KG to Marin by Friday so she can get it yeah. off to them. I had a few general type items for this session, if that's okay. Sure. 
Um, so, maps. Um, you know, I know there's a place, at least on the online version, I saw there was a place to find the maps for different sections. Yeah. I didn't see a... What's the, is the intent that that's going to be a separate place? Are they going to be embedded in the document? I, I'm 95% sure we're planned on embedding them in the document. Okay. Um, just for sort of downloading size, we kept them as separate documents on the website just so that if somebody wanted the map, they could download it without having to download a, you know, 30 meg PDF okay. or something like that in case their internet connection was slow. They're going to be 11 by 17 fold out. You know, I have to check on that. I think they, I have to see how we made them. I recommend that. Yeah. Typically, we do kind of that sort of like a trifold map where you can fold it back into the document, but I just have to look back on that. Because I, I do think it's, this, this argument's both ways, but I do think it's better to have them in there so that when you're looking at something, you find the overlay and you can mm -hmm. see where that is. I, I, I still don't know some of these places they're being referred to without looking at a map. Okay. And in addition to the maps which, are, which you have, which are very specific to a subject matter, um, I would love to see a map at the beginning of the document that, you, that references the common points of interest in the town so that we're all talking about the same thing. When someone says Littleton Center, I, I think three people, different people will tell you what Littleton Center is. So when you're talking about Littleton Center, that's the thing. So the key, you know, key features in the town, water bodies, main streets, just, just an orientation that's not so busy with everything else, I think would be really valuable right okay. up front. Well, water bodies, probably open spaces and parks, streets, and then sort of those key pieces, points of interest right. that we reference throughout the document. Right. Okay. And would that include neighborhoods? I mean, the neighborhoods of... Yeah. That you've talked about... It, it can get too busy. <laughs> it, can get, it can get too busy, that's what I'm saying. We got it, we got it, so, we got it now. We got it now. So, I mean, I just think, you know, I, I'm thinking you know what the major elements are. Yeah. But, I mean, the common, the center, the depot, are right off yeah. the top. You refer to those all the time, but we don't necessarily even show where the... Depot is as a point of reference unless yeah, you happen to know very it. True. Um, so that's I'm talking more landmarks and geographic features. Yep, makes sense. Are you talking about Depot A or Depot B? <laughs> B I B. <laughs> Almost like if you went to a, a, an amusement park or a mall, or yeah. kind of would highlight. Do, 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 I like that. And then um, I know we had. I'm debating whether I should even bring this up because I know we spent 10 minutes and Peter loved this conversation about sustainability. Um, <laughs> but you guys, um, I think it's, it sounds like you addressed it by using uh, community resilience. Is that how you did this within the, the sections? <laughs> you kind of near the background, near the back? Okay, all right. Just wanted to understand how you guys covered that because that was a topic and I didn't see that finalized in our discussions, but kind of hit the same notes okay and I like that they de they defined it as well so it was let's not leave this up to debate here's what we mean by this no, that was good. okay I mean overall especially for somebody um, like me who's new to the community this is just full of very useful facts and information in history great yeah um, I think people with their whole life are going to discover some things too. Absolutely. It's been a good research project. All right. Are we all in agreement that we have too many high priorities in our recommendations? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. So if we're all in agreement we have too many, the fix to that is to have fewer. <laughs> yes. I want suggestions on how you'd like to go about that to uh, lower in some of those priorities. Anybody got any darts? <laughs> <laughs> how, how about picking out the Three or four that are most important. Mm -hmm. we, we go around the room and with your guidance, rank them, and then wait. Go rank Each of us could, could put our own in. Because they're not rank ordered, no, Rich. Yeah. The way we went about it is one is a high, medium, and low high priority. Yeah. Uh, it's just we perhaps have too many high priorities yeah. for New York City, even in my town of Littleton. Um, They rank in the public forum. I, I'd be careful with that one because the public forums vary enormously in how many people showed up and who showed up. Mm. But we have 66 and 19 are ranked high. So how would you rate? So you could give homework to say, kind of like Mike's idea to go. You know, everyone gets their top three or whatever, and then we kind of add up all the numbers and the top. Well, I want to be careful as. 
to stay away from ranking. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why, and I know we used one, two, three uh, at night, but the, we went back to high, medium, low, so that there's no confusion as to rank. Uh, it's just some high priority, medium priority, or low priority to those of us in town. John, to your point about um, how things were in some of the public forums and the like, that informs us. But I think as a committee, you know, it's our responsibility to take all the inputs we received over the time and as best we can distill it and come up with what we think the community sense is. Mm -hmm. So to Mike's point, it, it goes beyond just the public forums also. Because um, we, all, we all interact with folks in the community. We all talk to people. Uh, so we get inputs that way also. So um, I think that's the best way to do this. But I'd kind of like to hit it tonight, folks, if, if you're all up to the task and try and knock some of these off. So to be honest with you, what I'd like to do is at the end of the evening is actually vote on this, that we accept the recommendations in a formal vote. Um, and that way it's codified and it keeps us moving forward. Everybody okay with doing that? All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to talk about the, the ones that we've listed as high. Because medium and low, I don't think we need to do a lot of work. Something that's a low priority, it's going to stay there. And medium priority is going to move one way or the other based on the times and, you know, some of the things Mike mentioned earlier, you know, what's the political will, what's the environment out there, on and on. So, you okay with that? Now, the first key theme is Littleton Common. And prepare a detailed master plan of Littleton Common and Beaver Brook area to guide redevelopment. We have that as high. Um, does anybody think it should be changed from high? No. Next one, change zoning for Littleton Common and the Beaverbrook area to encourage development, redevelopment, excuse me, according to the area master plan. Let's mix in with number one, the first one. I can. Yeah. It's very similar, sir. Yeah. Just yeah. Leave, leave those two is together, is it? Mm -hmm. But it's dependable on the first one, mm -hmm. right? That's a, you can make an argument that that's the case. So it should be medium because it's dependable on the first one. That's, uh, if the first one says, no, we're not going to do it. <coughs> medium or low, because you know. we're, we're putting the high priority already in the prepared form. Uh, yeah, you have to the chicken. Yeah. <coughs> if you don't change the zoning, the master the, the, the master plan either will call for a zoning change, which it should do. Yeah. But are we? Going, I guess the question is: Are we saying that the change of the zoning is so important because it's a change in mindset? A lot of this stuff is a change in point of view. We, again, and we, chicken and egg, yeah. you can't have one without the other, and if you got to have the other to have the one, so I, I think they're almost combined, but yes. he's right in the sense that you have to have this before you have that, but so. Yeah, but what if the uh, math, that master plan <clears throat> and it comes up with a guide to redevelopment doesn't require a zoning yeah, change? Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How about a master plan which includes zoning, necessary zoning changes? No. The different steps. Push the two together the and different steps. call it one. The different steps. steps. Because, yeah, really you're steps. pushing the, so, the, the solution inside the, the study. If, I, if, I, if we're trying to whittle this down, then I think we should probably make number two a medium. So medium, it's yeah. a dependent element. Because we're not going to make a planning board high priority to change the zoning without having done the master plan first. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. I agree with you. Okay. So second one's down to medium. Number two becomes medium. Good. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Evaluate the recommendations from the upcoming Littleton Common Sewer Strategic Plan and determine next steps. How is it high if the time frame is seven to ten years? That's a good point. And again, doesn't depend <coughs> on the master plan. Or no. It would be. All together. Was well, it seven to ten years time to completion? Or, 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 yeah, or no, 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 no. so it could start next year and just take you like if you start next year you're probably gonna get done in seven years, but if you don't start for four years, it's gonna take you ten years to get done. That's the way we were thinking. So about the start it. of it oh, is, okay. I thought it was in year seven to ten. No. Oh I misread that. It may be the way it's the way it's phrased right now may not align with the time period. 
But I think, at least in my mind, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking about you get the study, you evaluate it, you implement it. I was thinking about all that as one sort of step or series of steps. So that's why we're thinking seven to ten years because by the time you design, if there's if there's a design, you got to do that, then the construction okay. of. Could you change? Uh, that, so it's intended to be a duration, not a time frame. Yeah, maybe we yeah. can make that can label we, a little we, more specific. Can we change that time, time, time frame to, to duration? Because I took it to be, I'm doing that stuff you should do, yeah. seven years from now because you can't do everything to start in year one. Mm -hmm. So I think. Time frame to complete or something like something. Based on what you said, I think time frame for completion mm -hmm. would be more appropriate and then you would need to change all of these. Were they all consistently that theory or some of them are when you should start? <laughs> Uh, this might be the exception to the rule, this one. Most of them, I think, were when when were we thinking you would the do town it. would actually start. That's where oh, I start the oh, work. Oh, okay. Well, um, in that case, yeah, switching the words out. That, I, I that's what I want to see. I want to see it in a time frame because not everything is going to be... Nothing, you know, we want to say, you know, something that's later on. So I think it's, that's what we asked for, was to group this into, like, you know, next first three years, next three years, the last three years. That's how we talked about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So we should change that, shouldn't we? Yeah. Seven and ten is wrong. Mm -hmm. Especially the action says evaluate yeah. as well. It doesn't say implement. We yeah. So we. Can I think because that wording went through a few iterations yeah, through the last time. couple of meetings, so I think it would gotcha. be more accurate to probably change it to a different time frame. I think that's one, mm -hmm. to three. one to three. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, and given the importance of the common, I think that stays high. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the planning board, board of selectmen, et cetera, uh, should look at that closely. Yeah. Okay, plan growth now. Before Conduct you go to the next one, yep. um, which was uh, number 10, um, given I thought the zoning one um, should be high. I know it's a medium right now, and I know we're trying to whittle things down to mediums, but to me that seemed like a, a very big priority to address the zoning issue. I make a more compelling, persuasive argument than you think it's uh, important because we all kind of already did the drink and duck that we dropped to the medium. So beyond I missed that meeting. You're right. It means it's medium. We all said yes, it's medium, like that. Wait, which number, Gary? Number nine. <coughs> Lawrenceville. <laughs> Do you want to stay on it or move on? I am, you know, it's, it's just a democratic organization. If everybody else thinks it's medium, that's medium. But <laughs> I, I, I think uh, it it goes to the issue we talked about two minutes ago, which is the fundamental issue we have of, of managing redevelopment so that we know where growth is going to be and we have it in the places we want it to be. And Judy's point that our zoning is is all everything's residential. There's no differences between how we have it. It's a fundamental element before we can really do anything and to address that issue. And so before we have two Max and Toyotas places or wherever that we don't want, that seemed to be the zoning issue was would get to that. That's why that's why I took her comment to mean. So to me the issue with that is there's a few things we have to clean up very first. A couple um, bylaws that are probably would not pass muster now. Those things we have to clean up first, and to get those to fall town meeting will be a big push. So then if I, you know, another half year from then, if, if we're starting to look at the zoning, that's that's a lot on our plate. That's fair. I, I, I didn't understand what, I don't understand all the you said what goes first when it comes to this kind of thing. It isn't the first one to three years, and so if those other things are somewhere in here, I don't know if they are, um, then, then fine. Mm -hmm. You okay with that then? Yeah, if those other things are in here somewhere. Right. Item 10, plan growth. <laughs> Conduct a corridor study for great road to plan for future land uses, open space, and natural resource preservation, transportation improvements, and modify zoning to implement the plan. That's a mouthful. Yeah. All right, um, that's probably important to folks in town. <coughs> if you think about the Cooper property and the angst that uh, we all experienced as we went through that process. Um, and making something too sweet as far as Great Road, as to what we want as a town and come up with a plan and implement it as best we can. I would offer that that remains a high priority for us. 
<coughs> this room has been full of people when we were talking about property on that road. Mm -hmm. yep. and not even just the Fletcher property, but the previous time. So, excuse me, um, the Cooper property. That's one of the most emotional buttons in town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's keep that high priority. All right. Is our next one number well, 18? Thriving Town. Promote increased local support. Excuse me. Promote and increase support for local farms in order to maintain agriculture as a vital component of Wilton's economy. I, I would offer agriculture as an important component of Littleton's economy as a, um, as a share of Littleton's economy. Agriculture is, is a small slice, is it not? You know, according to the total economy of the town? According to the data in there, it's a very small, small yeah, part. Right. Culturally, it's very important. It's a small slice, but it's an emotional slice. I didn't. I just yeah. said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, if you look at the emotional slice in agriculture, it's huge. If you look at the dollars and cents around what we produce, and it's, it's, my, it's small. Thank you, Ron. Keep it high, I think. Yeah. Say. Everybody okay with that? Yeah, I'll keep All it right. high. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be gained by demoting it, nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except confusion. Number 23, community health and well-being. Develop specific criteria to describe the town's priorities for acquiring open space. Yes. Keep it there? Yes. Okay. Community health and well-being. Partner with the school department to involve Littleton Public Schools in nature education, maintenance of trails and wildlife blinds, and the education program in town conservation lands. And I'm going to toss that to our school committee chairman first for his comment. You know, sometimes when I listen to these, the question in my mind is, when you think about whether it's high, low, or medium, part of the determination should be, are we lacking? How, how lacking are we in this particular item? And that the answer to that question should go a long way towards informing whether or not it should be high, medium, or low. In this particular aspect, I feel like we're doing quite a bit of this anyway. We'd certainly like to do more or do it better, maybe, is even a, a better way to think about it. But I don't consider this, for the community overall, a high priority. I think it's something that we should do and, and visit, and I'm happy with that. But I'm not going to tell you that, as a school community member, this is something that we spend a lot of time thinking about relative to the other concerns and priorities that we have. And given how full the curriculum is now? Yeah, exactly. And, and there's some of this some of this type of thing might not even be the purview of the school committee or the school department. It might be a park and rec type of thing, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, <coughs> there are lots of opportunities for our children in Littleton to partake in this type of thing. I think we should visit it, no question, but I don't think it's a, a driving priority compared to some of the other things we're looking at. About that's medium? Yep. Yes. Medium. Medium. All right. Good. just said medium. 29. Community health and well-being. Establish coordinated effort to identify and remediate invasive species on public land. Work to educate private landowners on removal of invasives with a focus on large commercial and industrial properties. I think that can drop. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've certainly got some of that invasives in the backyard. Um, but as far as a high priority for the town, it comes up every so often on <coughs> treasured piece of piece of land. But people are got their eye on that as well. Yeah, there, there's a, there are folks in town paying attention mm -hmm. to this already. Exactly. I'd be fine with the medium. They, they cut down a whole bunch of wood. Yeah. Medium. <laughs> 32, community health and well-being. Prepare individual management plans for town conservation areas and recreational facilities. That's pretty, pretty high interest item for folks. And do you think that encompasses the sports fields? I hope it does. Recreational yeah. facilities, I think, clearly does that. So, and, and some of this is ongoing already. Yeah. So I think we should keep it high because it, it's ongoing because it was an issue, a specific issue for the town relative to the whole alumni field debate. So I think we should leave it right where it is. I agree. Shouldn't the time frame be adjusted then? Uh, yeah, I agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Bring that to one to three years. Mm 
Number 34, improve transportation options for Littleton seniors and residents with disabilities. That is a high priority. And nice. I think it stays there. Yep, yep. Again, with the time frame. Yeah. Mm. At least four to six, if not even more aggressive. I think that's it. Yeah, I know certainly Keith is working with, um, you know, oh, what's the low transportation system? Right. Yeah. I mean, he's working with them, isn't he, to try and look at getting routes into town. Um, Pam wanted to get the third van. Is that correct? I'm not. Does anybody know? I can't remember if the third, third van's yeah. been procured yet or not. Yeah, it's in progress. Yeah. I didn't know why this was difficult. I mean, I think it requires some effort, but it's not like it's legislation. It's not <laughs> <laughs> but it's dollars. <laughs> It's dollars, Gary. It's dollars? All right. Yeah. Yeah, like getting low regional to come out here. I mean, they what, they go to um, IBM. IBM. This is far. Yeah, so that's good at least. But how do we get them to do a circuit through the town? Um, I know Pamela's her budget, and she's requested more money from the town, and the town's been gracious enough and um, appropriated more money to her program to help with this. But certainly her needs uh, for the seniors in town and those with disabilities exceeds the resources available. Um, and I would offer enough folks in town have intimated enough that it's important to them, and I'm not just talking about seniors. Oh, I, I agree. Um, I, I, so I, I do think I've, I've heard that I was in a lot of the transportation meetings, and I, that was that came up repeatedly. So um, I guess the time frame is seven to ten years, simply because it's kind of, that's one of the ones that it's not really a time frame of seven to ten years. It's just it take, might take a while. Is that what the intent was with this one? You think? Yeah, and also I think it was going to depend on the approach that the town takes. So I think if the town continues, chooses to go with kind of the cross town connect model, which you know Keith has been working on really really hard for years now with, with Pamela, you know that is sort of an evolving <coughs> model. And I think it's going to take time to get all the other communities and the other entities sort of on board and get something up and running. So that could, could take a while. But if it's a matter of going out and procuring another van and that's going to satisfy the, the growing demand in town, that could be one to three years. Um, so I think it just kind of depends on the approach that the town takes. Okay. I think the town has the bandwidth to deal with it. It's, it's a uh, money issue, to be honest with you. Um, my recollection being on the select men <clears throat> having these sorts of conversations and talking with others. Yeah, they have asked for another driver. Um, but yeah, I'm, it, I, I'd agree. Let's leave it high, but do bring it into one to three. It, it, it's something that we want to address as a town, I believe. 35, construct a multi purpose intergenerational community center that meets the needs of all residents in Littleton. Time frame is probably good, seven to 10. It's a high priority. Uh, all right, open the debate on that one, folks. Because certainly, it's a hot topic. It certainly was the community centers. I mean, the community input. It certainly came across in the uh, forums. I'm looking for the where's the need study. As long, as long as we have the space need study as high as well, because it doesn't make sense to jump to one thing before you complete the space need, space need study, in my mind. I'm trying to find where that is. Yeah, we're focusing on the verb and, you know, construct. I know there's things that have to happen before you construct. Mm -hmm. But um, if I focus on that, then I, don't, I think the time frame is probably about right. Yep. And we need to start at some point, but is that... I still think you could probably make it a medium without diminishing the fact that it's important just to get going on it. I think or, for the community, I think given the response from the forums, um, I think it's, it is important that we, plant, that we allow that seed that they planted mm -hmm. be planted. I might change the verb. Yeah. It, instead of say construct, evaluate okay, wait, yeah. the validity or, or, the, or the feasibility. And and, that, and I would leave that at high. Construct, yeah, I would put medium yeah. because it, it might be... It could true know. that we're pushing. Yeah. Right. But evaluating yeah. the feasibility of it, I think, well, should be It could be, be both. Evaluate and... Well, but, but, and but if you evaluate, you may determine that you might not want to construct it. Yeah. For, for the reason, for whatever reasons are borne out. Cost, right. usage, other priorities, mm -hmm. whatever it is. It, right. You 
might find out. You might get an answer that we don't think we're going to get, but might be the right answer. I'm just saying, you know. It's the same word we use for the sewer project. Yeah. Evaluate. Yeah. 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 All right. So you want to evaluate? Okay. I'd like that to be the, you know, however, evaluate. I'd use the word evaluate, maybe change the grammatical structure. I wouldn't necessarily just switch evaluate and construct, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> but that, that's the idea. Yeah, we leave that as a high priority. Yeah, if you didn't evaluate, I would leave it high because it was clearly communicated to us multiple times in different forms that the people want to know if that's a good idea and right. how it would work. So you put that, and let's bring it one to three if it's going to be an evaluation. Yeah, evaluation for sure, yeah. And leave it high. Yeah, for okay, number 39, equitable development. Overhaul and update the over 55 housing bylaw to make it more effective for creating senior housing options. Where are you guys now on? You're doing accessory dwellings, right? Doing accessory dwellings. Um, but aren't you also looking at changes to the, the regs so that yeah, you can we do have, target we have that? Yeah, um, senior, uh, senior development bylaw um, ready for town meeting. That's so it's already going to be done by town meeting then? Yeah. Fingers crossed. It's ready to go, isn't it? Ready to go. That's uh, before I forget this. We have to put in that grandfather clause for existing ones that are already. Mm -hmm. um, did Cherry Gould talk to you? No. Okay. Well, just to we'll talk later about right. the okay. grandfathered ones that are pre all are legally constructed now that may be over the square footage right. presently, so that they're grandfathered in. Right. So for the Nayo 5500 <coughs> bylaw, you are overhauling it and updating it right now. Correct. You're going to present it at town meeting. Mm -hmm. yep. Do we just strike this from this list? Uh, well, we could, no. but if, if by per chance it doesn't pass, then we're going to want to <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> also, it means that we got a priority that at least is current. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't pass, Very it's current. not high, but for the town's purposes at least. Well, it, the, the problem is it depends on who shows up. It's a great oh. thing for the seniors, uh -huh. which is, is something we've been trying to do for the last five years, but now we're finally getting something. <clears throat> in paper and with some form of teeth to it with luck. It doesn't, some address, it, it doesn't address every situation. No, either. it doesn't, so, but it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. So we, we should keep it here because it's okay. going to be it's going to If it passes, we can throw it out. Fair enough. So be it. Shall we can check it out. Just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what Peter means. One last thing to implement. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when you his lose outbox is circular and it sits on the floor of his office. <laughs> Tell me something. When you when you lose something, you find it. You say, "I found it the last place I looked." That's true. Who keeps looking? <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep that high. All right. All right. Next one, number forty-five: building local capacity. Hire a full-time facilities manager who would be responsible for the maintenance of town and school buildings, as well as development of long-term maintenance and replacement plans. Yeah, that is high. I would put that in medium. In, again, towards the idea of it's not as if we don't do any maintenance or planning. Could we do it better? If we had a full-time facilities manager, I'm sure we would. And we'd be more proactive and the town would benefit from having that position filled. But in terms of whether it's really a high priority, I don't see the, I see the need, but I don't see it as a, these buildings are going to collapse if we don't get this guy hired or this person hired in the next six months. I'd like to make a suggestion then. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, Mike. Um, is that we, we say um, change that to hire either a full-time or part-time facilities manager. And the reason I add that in, and, I keep, and I'd like to keep it high, is because um, just 10 years ago, we had probably maybe $30, 000, $30 million in infrastructure. Right now we've got almost two hundred million dollars in infrastructure with the this all the schools being done and we're going to have it's going to even be higher with the fire station done now so with that much infrastructure built we need to you, you, you can't say I, we I, don't need some I'm not saying homes. we don't need it at all at yeah. all I, I'm just saying that in a terms of high medium or yeah. I would I would be shocked honestly if even if we left it as high if this gets done any quicker by virtue of us telling the town that it's a high priority. It's been a priority for how long? But 11 years since I've been on the school committee we've been talking about it. But just because people have ignored, ignored it and buried their heads in the sand up till now, 
doesn't mean you continue to do that because we have too much money at risk. I understand, but see, I, 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 I question the contention that we've ignored and buried our heads in the sand, Rich. Oh, yeah. we, we, yeah. We've talked about it. It's not a question of do we think it's a good idea. It's a question of where it fits into our priorities and, and, and funding. Let me um, try and bring this in a little yes. bit. Tell no, no, yes, no. Uh, we're trying to reduce. The, so let me yeah. allow me one. Um, as far as a priority to the entire town, let's think in those terms. Certainly, uh, Mike and I have a shared um, experience in history. Yeah, I've both been on the school committee. Mike still is as the chairman. And we show seventy to ninety thousand um, dollars. That doesn't include OPET and health insurance, things like that. So it's a bigger chunk of change than just seventy to ninety k, most likely. Um, and is it, do we really believe as a team here that the town has a priority to spend another one hundred thirty thousand dollars, give or take, to hire this person for a master plan perspective, or is it something less than the high priority? I contend it's less than a night. Let, let me ask you a financial turn it around, okay? And it's all stimulated by the rise in interest rates, all right? <clears throat> How will this affect uh, our bond rating in view of the fact that the town has over 200, closer to 300 million almost? We're working on 300 now. Okay, 300 million of basically facilities. <clears throat> uh, if, if something should happen or be mis mismanaged, Okay, how does this affect the financial well-being of the town versus <clears throat> the, well, including uh, fringe benefits, Marin, what do you estimate if it, if it came in at 70,000? Um, what do they use? Usually use 30? 35 or 40, right? Right. Yes, I forget that. Okay. Yeah. I'm asking the question, mm -hmm. what's its financial impact by not having, at this point in our history, <clears throat> someone like that on board? All right, well, I think that's one of the reasons that this is one of the top recommendations of, of your finance team. Ah. <laughs> you look very good. Okay. It is a recommendation. Huh? Okay. I'm just, th th this would be the stimulus from my point of view because mm -hmm. that interest rate increase is not insignificant that we're looking at. I would I'm start blowing that one out of proportion, Mike. <laughs> I've been rates. answering calls all day on this. Please, oh, sure, because of course people are going to run scared now. Not scared. With, These with, are not the scared people. Today, you know? um, <laughs> um, I don't want to have the sky has fallen because the Fed raised uh, crime. <laughs> the sky is it's not an Air Force thing. Oh, really, it isn't. Hey. So back to this one, Paul. I'd like to add the word hard time or full time. Facilities manager. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I yeah. think that, that might make it more. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, about We've got one person for the town buildings. We've got one person for the school buildings. So there's at least two people doing facilities management in town. And you're offering maybe we just hire one part time person to take that place? Well, wait a minute. We have, we have a business manager that does all the school facilities. I don't know if that's negative. Well, Bill Mark does a little bit of facilities maintenance there. He does the implementation. The um, you know the other guys, uh, Steve Marx is the one that does all the planning and, and school committee chairman. And he's right. Yeah. You know, so you need you actually do need two people. Implementation and and. Um, so do you want to hire more than one? No, no, no. You've got them hired right now, for only for a specific number of the buildings in town. All right. Uh, I'm going to cut off the bait here shortly because this one spent a lot of time on. Um, it costs us nothing to do nothing with it right now and leave it as high. What do you folks want to do? What's your main goal of doing of this? You have 19 out of the a third of, it really wasn't a third of these right now are high. If it's the intent is to get more of a focus on what are the big overarching elements in the town to get it down to probably a dozen or so, then I think then that definition I think just goes to a lower category. It still stays in the first one to three years, but it, it just goes to a lower category simply because of the overarching nature of what you think you're trying to get at. Otherwise, we could just keep it the way they are. And, and Consider one of the things in the um, plan that's been identified very clearly is we're one deep in just about every position there is in town. So what's the bandwidth of folks? So if we make recommendations that all this stuff is high priority, someone other than us, and rightfully so, when it's in the end game, is going to really start determining those priorities. But as a recommendation as to what we think the town is, we want to say to the select and to the planning board, to the people of town, this is our general consensus, as to what is a high, medium, or low priority in the town. 
where does this fall? That's all I'm asking. Now, whether you think it's a great <coughs> idea, and, it's, and I'm not discounting that, the expertise on your part, from the town perspective, is it a high priority? Presently, I'd say no, and let's just move on. Anyone else agree with the no, move it to medium? No, I, 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 <coughs> yes or no? I think you're no. Right. I don't like I, I just let's just go around and, 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 and end it who says move it to a medium I do okay we have a trap here because what we're talking about is an implementation of a financial policy because that's what this boils down to you're really trying to protect with a facilities manager you're, tr you're really trying to protect and manage your facilities which is a financial implication <clears throat> and how you rate that against something like doing a redevelopment or revitalization on the common it's apples and oranges. So I'm not sure that it's fair to use ones for both of them in the same sense. So it does, doesn't help anybody, but as far as I'm concerned, um, we're, we're, being, we're forcing ourselves to use ones on, shall we say, narrow but very important parts of running a town or having a town. While in the case of the, the, uh, the other, without the common being improved all the rest we're going to just we're, we're not going to change all that much so there's an argument here to be made that we put this from our perspective from our, the committee's perspective not from a say, making medium not because it's not important but because from our hierarchy from our point of view it doesn't have the, the push we won't change the town as much i hope who would like to keep it high mike like, you're very kind Let's bring it to Thank inclusion. You. Let's bring it to inclusion. Who would like to keep it where it is? I would, oh. just because okay. I think maintaining the buildings makes a lot of sense. Well, besides, Paula, want to keep it where it is? Well, <coughs> hearing that the Finance Committee put forth this recommendation, I think, um, gives it a higher priority. But just a quick question. Um, so this isn't being done just administratively for what reason? I mean, is, is there... Money. Like but, money. We but, just the town doesn't doesn't hasn't had the appetite prior to this to fund the position. That's as, it's as simple as that. Nobody's arguing that it wouldn't be a good hire. It's just every year we struggle with do we can we pay for this and not do something else and we always choose to do something else whether it's a patrol officer or a teacher or whatever it is. And that's it. But We've it's hired truly that simple. We have hired teachers. We hired a new assistant administrator. Uh, we hired a new engineer to the town, yeah. and this just kept falling off yeah. the plate. It just does. So, and it falls under risk management, yeah. the way that I hear. Yeah, that's, that's what in, in extending the value of our, our investments over, over a greater period of time. And, and, you know, in theory, that's what would happen. All right. So, okay. what would you like to fall on that, then? Well, if that's the case, and, and if it keeps falling off, and this is the only way to get it done, then I think it needs to remain high. Okay. I'm, I'm saying medium, but I'm sensing the consensus is towards high. It's going to be no, close. Medium, I say medium in the scheme of everything else, but it's a high, high, high. I, just, I just feel that there's enough uh, different facilities that have their own managers and their own church. But if there's one person that can sit there and manage this in a way that's cool, okay. you know, so close enough, to evenly divided on this, let's leave where it is. And okay. certainly, the select one have an opportunity at budget time is to hire the person or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's Next one, no, it's not unbelievable. It's a good discussion, it gets mm -hmm. folks to at least know what we're thinking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, 46 building local capacity, establish a master plan implementation committee to promote an implementation of this plan, to evaluate the town's implementation progress, and to recommend plan amendments as needed to the uh, Bulletin Board of Selectmen. Mm -hmm. And we've really highlighted that. I think that stays high. Yep, that's got to be high. All right, 53 legacy, complete an inventory of historic structures. Landscapes in Littleton, including photo documentation of present day conditions and update the town's historic resource inventory and forms. I'm not saying that's unimportant, I, I just don't know how that is the high priority for the town as a whole. Okay. Only, that the, only that that's a large part of the character physically of the town that people have said is important. Other thoughts? I mean, I take Bartlett's point, and especially if you if you think, because the next one we're going to evaluate is 58, right, which is kind of an extension of this. And if I was comparing those two, then I would stick with 53 and move 58. Okay. Because Bartlett's right. I mean, there is a big section in, in the master plan overall about this. Why would we not have at least one of these items be a high priority for that? Yeah, we're trying to preserve fields. We might as well preserve 
buildings and the, and the, and the, walls, the true vista. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I agree with them. Let's leave it at leave that one high and let's right. move on to 58. In fact, we will do that, Peter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but not because you said one. so. There you go. <laughs> all right. I'm all in my head. So encourage committees engaged in historical preservation, environmental protection, open space planning, economic development to meet periodically to explore opportunities to collaborate on historic and cultural preservation priorities. Seeing as how we went the other way on this one, we dropped this one down a little bit. And, but it, in, in all the conversations earlier, the implementation um, board that's going to replace us at some point in time, whether some of us are on it, are going to be working with these things. So what we're pro proposing now, even though we're, we're trying to prioritize them, they're going to be the ones that are actually going to do the prioritizing in the bottom line, correct? Mm -hmm. They will be working suggesting it towards the towns in order to have these things implemented. In the particular so this is on, so. My point is, never mind. I can't okay, well, what, what happened? No, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone because if I keep going, I know what's going to happen. There you go. Well done. Okay. All right. Uh, so, as Mike suggested and Peter's endorsed highly, <laughs> do we want to make that medium? Yes. yes. All right. Fifty-eight is medium. All right, we're getting there, folks. Active government, provide the 21st century needs of a library facility in Littleton. I think that's high. It should remain high. I love the way it's phrased okay. because it allows us for to consider all alternatives and doesn't yes. lock us into one okay. uh, idea versus another. Everybody concur? Yep. Okay. 61, active government, invest in technology upgrades that will help the town accommodate the growing demand for information, secure lines of communication, and redundancy across systems. I would move that down to medium because I feel like as a town, it's not like it's not like we're out in the I, I wilderness. I would argue for higher on that one. We, we, yeah, we oh, what do you know? You only work for an IT company. <laughs> <laughs> I know that might be part of a bias as well, but I see what those guys are dealing with with system upgrades and compatibility, and it's uh, yeah. And like when we <coughs> decide to wait, change one thing, we're off for a couple of days and dispatch. But I understand dispatch that, that. but and problem. that should be an issue for the Board of Selectmen and the way they support their administrative departments. But in terms of an overall master plan thing, I, I clearly think that's a medium. We have we have an infrastructure in place. Should it be better? Yes, it should be better. And, you know, and, and anything we can do to make it better should happen. But when we think about the overall structure of the master plan, I really feel like this is a, a medium. What, what's, the, what's, what's the cost to the town when you go down? Hopefully, no one has an emergency. <laughs> no, this backup right, right, this one, but this one's loaded because I'm yeah. not quite sure where the boundaries start. What does this exclude? I mean, it just doesn't mean this building. You're, this this refers to oh, dispatch is the big yeah. Big that's big the one I'm. That's that's the one I went to. If you have a, a an aging quote population and one well, place to go, that's almost a brand new police station. How could that possibly be an aging system? No, no, I said you have an, I'm sorry, yeah. aging population. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. Right. And, and, and I want to make, they should be able to communicate. I'm not getting all of The IT, uh, given we've talked about 21st century needs and the like, um, the library, very important part of that as to how much is a book on a stack versus access to a computer. <laughs> um, I would offer that it remains high. Okay. I, I would suggest that it could go lower, and the reasons of up for that is because uh, technology changes. Well, first of all, technology is equipment. It doesn't have to do with uh, the town zoning, and it doesn't have to do with the town buildings or anything else. Um, it's equipment. Um, and that is changing so fast that um, what we, the words that we would put in here, if we did put words in here, would have to be so generic that it could allow for, uh, you know, an enormous amount of change over the next uh, Do you have a wire years? connected to that device? Uh, no. It's wireless, right? Yeah. I thought so. And who knows? I mean, you know my point, don't you? It's not a hard one. We're dealing wireless right now. Yeah. yeah. Except to be able to project on these television screens right now, we need a wire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, we, you know, I can, I can remember just a few years ago, all the phone systems went over to IP, internet over IP. You can stream. You can stream. Over IP, whatever it was. And, and that was built. As we build buildings, we we have uh, we we have the all the new buildings are all on the same uh, program 
for uh, HVAC and uh, HVAC controls so that all the new buildings can be uh, remotely accessed by one person and adjustments made in yeah, all the middle schools. Middle school is a real good example, isn't it? Yeah, so that's that's and that was technology, and we yeah. upgraded from what we had in the middle school previous. Yeah, so that that's that's in place. It's equipment. But the, yeah. You have to get it there. It doesn't happen magically. What's the consensus? Grab your reins. Okay. What do you think? Not winning many battles. Does it affect? In other words, that, does, does it affect? Uh, does it affect? Uh, the dispatch, how, how much it affects the, the, the services. And of course, yeah, you're to what happens to the town when mm -hmm. the problems. I think things happen a couple times a year. So you cannot communicate to the police? Is that what happens? There's like alternative routes that they can get through if you know. I, I don't exactly know. There's some way you can get through, but sometimes the phones are just... There's like, no workaround. No. So it's high. Yeah. Sorry. There's no, is, there's no backup. There's no workaround. How, how can you... How can it survive? Then? And that's not the only note. I mean, this is building. The schools have their own system. Okay. It's just leave it Let's go. We all agree with that? Yep. You sound like me all of a sudden. I didn't know we were so backwards. Okay. Hey. 63, Wait active government. Upgrade and modernize the Shaker Lane School. School committee chairman, can we just do that? Right. I mean, this is a tough call. I mean, it's clearly the next Some building things. that's going to get visited. There's no question about it. Uh, it's not crumbling. Um, <laughs> it's it's servicing our needs on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, I mean, I would put it in medium. It's clearly for the school committee. We're certainly not going to not pay attention to it because you didn't tell us it was high. We're not, we're not going to take that kind of direction from you guys, but <laughs> I don't <think> it personally. <laughs> oh, you like them apples. <laughs> but I think, again, I think in terms of the overall master plan and the focus, it's got to be on the list, and we'll know when it's time to do it, and, and we'll do it. So I, I would put it in medium. Well, okay with that? I'll second yeah. that. Okay, have you changed it to uh, <clears throat> uh, continue to evaluate? As opposed to, well, we're going to do that anyway. I don't. Okay, again, you're we going don't, to do it anyway. We don't, really, we don't really need the the. the, the you don't. You don't need it in here for you to do it. No, you don't want us okay. on that. All right. Exactly. Okay. I don't need you so guys coming in once a year to remind me. <laughs> All right. Well said. <laughs> okay. The what I'd like then is a uh, motion. To adjourn. Yeah. Not yet. Mm -hmm is that uh, we accept the recommendations as written with the changes we described this evening. So moved. I can't make the recommendation, you make it. Oh. Yep. I make a motion that we uh, accept the recommendations as made tonight. Thank you. And whatever else you say. Recommendation of the changes made this yes, evening. Yes, thank you. Is there second. A second? Second. Okay. Right. The motion made and uh, seconded to accept the changes in the document. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. All right. Now I can make a motion for No, we've got work to do there, young man. Um, the vision of the implementation committee. Ultimately, um, I mean, there'll be consultations. In 66. Do you know, and I, I don't know who you all asked, because Keith and I had discussions about a joint meeting with the planning board and the uh, board of selectmen and to talk about the implementation committee. Um, are you able to catch up on that at all? It's not up to my schedule. So. No, I mean the, the discussion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was a recommendation of Keith. He said that uh, everybody kind of, you know, come by us on this. But certainly the vision I profit so far, and I've shared with you folks, is that um, it's a committee that's not um, going out and setting the priorities. It's seeing that the priorities that have been set by the various boards and committees and the master plan and they work with the various boards and committees to uh, see what's happening to make sure those are being moved along. And then to be able to offer assistance, coordination assistance. Um, there will be some administrative help that they're able to bring forward, I should think, under the wisdom of what that committee would be. Um, I'm thinking it's about a five-person committee. Uh, a lot of that, it starts to get a little bit unwieldy because it's not a policy-setting committee. It, it's a committee that's going to help execute policy in the will of these various boards and committees. So that's how I see that uh, coming down. Uh, and that's some um, that I'd be presenting to you guys. But, and that's what I mentioned to you last time I was in front of you guys and when I said to the selectmen, 
back in uh, January uh, when I uh, briefed them on the update. So, and TJ, we do have this um, a joint planning board and master plan meeting for the 27th on the draft agenda anyway, so 27th. Yeah, what I mentioned to Keith, and I'll leave it up to you folks, if you want it to be a committee meeting or not, if it's a committee meeting and we don't have a quorum, it's a bit of a problem. Um, you've trusted me so far <coughs> this long to uh, go to these board meetings and speak to them. Um, and that this is what the subject is, not going to be extraneous stuff. Which would you rather it be? I think you're right. Tripartite agreement? Now, the thing is, by the way, you, know, you and Paul already be there. You two will already be there. Yeah. I'd make a fifth, um, but we would need two more. Two more. Do we want to risk that? Yeah. Well, can't, why can't we just leave it as an open meeting if you if, if people can come and show up and they, we get to that number, then so be it. Yeah. Advertise it as such, and if it comes out that we have seven people there, then... If, if we, we advertise, we act, if, correct? What, what's the the alternative is is that Tracy nobody shows to, up to, to delegate you to speak on on our behalf to the to this issue. We have a full quorum that evening. Okay. And if we have a quorum, we have to have it advertised. That's the only real thing. If we have if we have it advertised, and we don't meet a quorum, then you're not allowed to talk. Is that what you're trying to say, also? Well, I'm going to make sure that's not the issue. Well, because so, how so I have a right off the bat, we'll end up with having five of us. Anyways, right? Yeah. Melissa, one, two, three, four. Who's the fifth one that would Paul be? Paul Glavy. Mm -hmm. Glavy, all right. So, so there's five. So if any of you two, sh anybody else shows up, Mike's we're SOL. Right yeah. And I'll, who? And I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be the body. Maybe one more. Well, no, we, either we need one more or we don't need one more. Which yeah. is it? You might as well post it. You know? I mean, <laughs> Which meeting is it? It's a meeting that he's that uh, yeah. might meet the planning board and the select yeah. It's a joint meeting. Hey, remember the reason to have a quorum is yes, to deliberate. Yeah, it's a joint meeting. Exactly. I would I would prefer to see a quorum. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, we need well. There's March one, and we need one more. more. Yeah. So March twenty seventh. Can yeah. can we vote to to recommend the, uh, that the uh, committee be comprised as you have it, and so then you can represent that at the meeting session. Thoughts. Can we vote here today as to the as to the what the implementation committee would be comprised of? So as we can we reflect nobody that. but Mike shows up. <laughs> we no, just, here. Do it now. Right, but then on the twenty seventh, no one can show. No, 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 no. Every one of us in this room can show up in one place at one time, even at a public meeting. Oh, sure, and not and deliberate. Not but then we can't talk. No, it's not. We can't talk. We don't deliberate. Right, deliberate. Uh, sure. Administrative talking back and forth. The correction of fact is not deliberation. Correct. Deliberation is that we come to a decision to progress forward on something that we had to discuss previously. We're not going to do that. We've discussed everything there is to discuss. No. I'm disgusted. Like that one? So, it, again, it, it's either you post it, we end up with two more extra people, or we don't post it. And, and But I don't know if that will get us past the deliberation thing. As long as you don't deliberate, then we're fine no matter doing yeah. nothing, correct? So there's no deliberation. You're simply going to tell us Presenting what that. this, yes, what yeah. this committee here has professed. Correct? Paul's, Am I right? Yeah, Paul's right. If if we don't, you know, we don't talk about stuff that we're going to vote on later on. We don't change what we've agreed to. We don't need to that. post. Mm -hmm. yeah. Marin, does that sound fair? So what would you suggest? Let it fly. <laughs> yeah, get all okay. then then. Then one or all of us can show up. It doesn't make a okay. difference. Is is then post the meeting? We're not going to deliberate anyways. It's not our plan. So if we don't have a form, we're not at risk. There you go. Right back to where I said in the beginning. Post the bloody thing. Be done with. They show up. We got it. If they don't, so be it. Right? <coughs> Peter, you just think so much more quickly than the rest of us. Uh, sometimes I just want to get things you're able, over. You're able to come um, to those conclusions so fast. Yes. Right now it's in at 7:20, well, but it, uh, it can move. I'll just say something. Call the back. Right. He's still going to be. That's okay. not changing. Now to um, board Wait, business. So right. And that's a master plan update steering committee presentation to the planning board. So they'll be on the 6th and the 20th, as I say. Uh, and this segues even into uh, town meeting. Um, <coughs> you'll have some slides for us for that evening. <coughs> you and or Judy will speak at the planning board meeting. That's what I'd like. Um, we will put together a presentation. <coughs> And for the 28th, we'll have some slides for you folks to uh, see what the intention is. And as far as to the planning board, the thought there is they're already up to snuff as to where we are in this process, as is the um, board of selectmen. 
It's just a case of now, and it's more for the public consumption, really, than the playing board's consumption itself. And, and you know, you've got input too on PR, you think this should go. Yeah, but it's a case of here's where we are in the process. We're about to come to the culmination. We're presenting the uh, draft now to the planning board for its consideration and for public comment. And that, um, and I'm losing a train here, and that ultimately for the town meeting, it'll be presented to them in the um, Article 2, right? Special town meeting, Article 2, to accept as a report to the town coming out of us, and that prepping the planning board for on the 20th <coughs> of April to take a final vote to approve or not uh, the master plan as presented. So that's pretty much it. Um, and I'll talk to Judy as far as some thoughts on slides, any kind of information. But I'm thinking it's 10 slides. Mm -hmm. that's <coughs> All right, folks. Perfect. So for the 28th, um, that will be my other promise to you. And that will segue into the town meeting presentation. What we like or don't like on what we put together for the planning board, you know, keep the to us, you know, for town meeting. But again, the town meeting, I don't see much more than maybe a dozen slides. We're going to have 15 minutes allotted to us. Uh, I anticipate the uh, moderator, uh, Tim Gott, will uh, allow some questions, but I don't think he's going to let it persist on and on because it's, it's not a debate that evening, per se. Clarification on a point would be fair enough, um, but frankly, that'll be up to Tim. Uh, but T and I have spoken a little bit, too, as far as how this uh, might go. All right. Any uh, suggestions otherwise? All right. Hi. Folks, I think a very productive meeting this evening, uh, so thanks much. Um, our homework, <coughs> suggested priorities, you know, um, get your top two, and we're going to have those for the 28th that we agreed to. Next meeting? Okay. And then what I owe you is a draft letter and draft slides. The other business, folks. Make a motion to adjourn. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Marin, Kepper, and Foot. All right. Thank you. Eric. Good, thanks. Paula, would you make a motion, please? <laughs> uh, what would that be? A <laughs> motion to adjourn, maybe? I'm good with it, brother. He, you want to second it? Second. Okay. Motion made and second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, folks. Thank you at home. Appreciate it. I have a question, though, for the.